What's going on, guys? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back with a slightly different setup. So I'm in my podcast room slash office slash cat tree room. You guys have seen this room a bunch. But, you know, we're on New Year's Eve, and I figured what would be a better time to come up with my personal top 20 or top 10 bags of 2021. So this isn't going to be a list of the most popular bags. This is not going to be a list of, you know, what's buying and selling for the most. This is just my personal list of my experience throwing tons of bags this year, which ones stuck around in my arsenal or which ones did I like the most personally. And then coming into the top couple, it's the ones that I really threw the most that are always with me that are kind of my go-tos in certain situations. So let's kick it off with number 10. So with number 10, I was I was almost not going to put this in the list, but I feel like I have to, the all cornhole game changers. Uh, the reason I got to put these in the list is because like I started off playing this year. I started off reviewing this year in August um, or so, and and it was one of the first bags I bought, and it got me a lot of wins. You know, it's a really friendly bag. It, it goes in the hole ridiculously easy. We call it a cheater bag for speeds on these things. I call it a six eight. It's the exact same material on both the fast and the slow side, just with this suede patch to slow down the slow side. Asymmetrical bead fill. A lot of people call it a cheater bag because it's a bigger templated bag that's really quick that seems to just melt in the hole. And it's cheap. I mean, you can get them for like 40, 50 bucks, depending on the series. You're not going to get Gen 2s for 50 bucks, but the new new game changers you can get for 50 bucks, really readily available, uh, really high quality. All Cornhole makes a good bag and they go in the hole really easily. You know, there's a lot of people that throw them, a lot of pros that throw them. Granted, they're sponsored, but it's a really good bag. Um, it wouldn't be thrown as much as it is if it wasn't. So that's number 10 on my list. We go into number nine. At number nine, I have the BG Vikings. So here I have the special Triple Crown Skull Vikings. I am in Minnesota, so I had to pick up a set of these. But the reason I got the Vikings on here, do I throw the Vikings in events? Probably not. But it's the bag that I learned how to throw a roll shot with this year. I spent a lot of hours throwing this bag. I can understand why people really like this bag. It's a really comfortable bag to throw. We're looking at four, seven speeds. Small bead fill leads to that puffy, puffy bag. You got the carpet slow side with that seven speed soft fast side that you see in a lot of carpet bags. But it's just great on fast boards. Um, a lot of players that throw BG throw these just because it's a really good speeded. A lot of the time, if they're throwing carpet, they have a really flat, really hard throwing bag. Really controllable on all levels of board, regardless of fast or slow. My big negative to them, and the reason I uh, will get into, so I have some other carpet on this list that I throw a little more. The reason I don't throw them as much is because the fast side to me just isn't fast enough. Uh, I find that I can roll the fast side just as sometimes when it gets sticky as easy as I can roll the slow side. So I like personally a faster push side, but that's just my personal opinion. But um, I have to be in the top 10 just because of how much I've thrown them and how you know I learned how to roll a bag with it. And I think it's a really popular carpet bag for a reason. Number eight, we get into a bag. I released a review on these recently. Not many people know about them, but you really should. Minnesota Tailgate Omegas. Um, uh, it's a really nice bag. A locally made here. Uh, many of the locals throw it. So again, it was one of the first bags that I picked up because it was so inexpensive and so un everyone kind of sweared by it around me. I was like, all right, I got to try this. We're looking at like a four eight speeded uh, bag here. Small disc fill. Really nice hand feel. So you got like a polyester, like nylon weave slow side. Uh, a little bit slower than a Surefire, but still plays super hole friendly with that Surefire Game Changer fast side, same fast side material. Um, I find it is a really hole friendly four. It's really controllable and super forgiving where like it doesn't really kick a lot on you. And the big thing about this, it's ACL comp stamped for $50. I mean, for 50 bucks, it's really hard to find any bags left anymore at $50, especially something with, you know, this high of a claim, especially from locals. I posted my review. A lot of you have commented and said, like, this is the best $50 I've ever spent. They're really, really good bags. I spent a lot of time throwing them this year. They don't get brought out as much out of my rotation anymore. But when I go to local events, there's still tons of people throwing Omegas for a good reason. They're a really, really nice bag. Um, so that's uh, number eight on the list. Going into number seven, we got some more carpet. So another BG, we got the BG Mercenary. So the reason I got the Mercenary up here above the Viking is because I personally throw the Mercenary more than I do the Viking. Um, and because of that fast side. So we're looking at the speeds on the things of like a 5.8, same fill as a Viking, small bead. 
The carpet's a tad quicker than a Viking, but then that fast side is that surefire game changer fast side. Now, I really like having a fast push side, especially on my carpet bags, because the carpet, I'm laying these big, sticky, big, fat blockers, right? And I want something that can push through those blockers with ease. And this game changer fast side really does that. These bags collect super well. The airmail drags super well. Um, they're relatively inexpensive. You can find them for like 60 to $80. You know, now personally, this is my favorite roll bag um, because it rolls the, similarly to a Viking for me. Um, the carpet, uh, these are crazy broken in, but the carpet is just as sticky. Um, so I'm able to cut and roll these the same I can a Viking, but I can flip it over to that fast side and it's pretty forgiving. The fast side doesn't kick too much because it's so fast. They just melt in the hole. Really like BG Mercenaries, but again, you really got to break these things in. Going into number six, we have the 710 Amnesias. So, so some of you might be surprised I actually don't have these higher on the list. The reason I don't have them higher on the list is because I just can't, don't get to throw them that much because we throw indoors so much right now. But in the summer, when humidity sticks up, these are my go-to fast bag um, when it gets like really sticky. Speeds, we're looking at like a 7.9 speed. Slow side, similar to like a Viper with no dots. Uh, fast side, you're looking at that Pro Sniper Viper fast side. So it's a big template. It's similar to like a Game Changer. Same kind of reason that Game Changers are like considered cheater bags. You know, big template falls in the hole super, super easily. Uh, disc fill, very hole friendly. Even when it's humid, these things still go very easily. Um, super forgiving, really don't kick. Uh, and but here, you know, this has been my go to when it's outdoor and it's humid and the boards are glue sticks. So it's my favorite fast, fast bag, you know, above Vipers, above all these other, you know, pro snipers, super fast bags um, and price point. You know, they're made by a really great guy named Roy at 710. I think this brand's going to explode. Uh, it's already exploding like 724 is. Uh, they're really hard to find right now. I think he sells them for like 85 to 100 bucks. But Right now, like he's on back order for like eight weeks and, and everybody's selling them for a bunch more. The Amnesias is one of my favorite uh, bags from him. He just, all of his bags are really, really nice. But the 710 Amnesia is number six on my list. Going into number five on the list. So getting down here in the top half, we have the Black Sheep Blackwaters. Um, I have the Corbin edition here. So we're looking at Surefire materials. So 5.8 speed wise is what I call it. Same materials as a Surefire, small disc fill, uh, but it's slightly fuller. So, I mean, this is like fully, fully broken in, still has a very good handle on it. In my opinion, it makes it a touch slower than a Surefire. Not much, I mean, it's the same material, but just that little bit of extra fullness kind of stops it just a tad earlier. Negative side, I think it's a slightly less hole friendly, but I think it's a way better blocker and uh, like can collect really well and stuff whatnot. Also, it's just made by a really good company, 80 to 90 bucks. Black Sheep makes an awesome bag. They have really, really good designs. Um, I really like this variant of the Surefire in terms of a bag that's using the same materials. But um, yeah, the Black Sheep Blackwater, not much more I could say about it. Surefire materials plays really nice, a little bit fuller if you don't like how floppy Surefires get. Getting into number four here. So number four, this is my favorite carpet bag of the year, the Crazy 8 Dominator. Rocking the hat, Crazy 8 Crazies. Another brand that has a really big following, really not culty following, but a lot of people believe in these bags. He's released the Annihilators now, uh, which I like that bag too. Just having to not make it on my list, but the Dominator, really good carpet bag. I mean, really fun to throw. It's what I break out if I just feel like throwing carpet. It's a 5'9 speeded carpet. You got that, you know, five, very similar to like a mercenary Tango's carpet with a nine speed, you know, Viper, Pro Sniper and Tango. Very similar to a Tango in terms of the makeup of this bag. But you're looking at kind of like an asymmetrical bead fill. It's slightly less puffy than a BG, but still plenty puffy. Um, it's a little wider than a BG, so a little bit of a bigger template. I think that makes it a little bit more forgiving. These things, don't get me wrong, they cut and roll with, uh, with ease. I mean, if you know how to cut and roll, but they're a little bit more friendly in my opinion. And they just melt in the hole. You get these things close, they just, they're just slinking in. And this fast side, this Viper fast side, I would say when you're breaking these in, it takes a little while to get this side relaxed. But once you do, I mean, the collects you can do with this thing, the airmail drags you can do with these things. They're big bags that just don't play like big bags when they get close to the hole. They don't hang up too much on me now that they're fully broken in. Uh, it's just really, really nice to throw. I, I really enjoy throwing this carpet bag. And, and I think from him, they're around like 88 bucks ship. So good price point. They're not pro stamped, 
But I mean, obviously they don't have to be stamped to make it on my list because I don't throw pro stamped all the time. I got seven ten on here and crazy eight on here that aren't pro stamped, and uh, they're some of my favorite bags. So crazy eight dominator number four on the list. If we get into number three here, I got another seven ten bag, and this is a fairly new one in my arsenal. The seven ten enigma. I haven't had my hands on these things for too long, and I'll tell you what, I don't need to. <laughs> like, that's how good they are. Uh, Material-wise, we're looking at a six, not six on the slow, which is the same as a Pro Sniper Costello material, and a nine on the fast, same as a Pro Sniper Viper. So it is the same exact material combination as a Pro Sniper, but fuller, right? So this is pretty broken in. They're a little fuller. Really nice disc fill. And be, it's because of the fullness is the reason that I like it so much because it slows it down just a tick. So I've been having an issue the last you know couple of months where I throw you know like a surefire variant when the boards are fast, and then I'm throwing Costellos when the boards are like slow. But the transition period, Costellos are too fast, surefires are too slow. So these are kind of filling that void. They're a controllable fast bag, controllable, like whole friendly. I could still throw blockers with it. I could still push really well. The designs are insane. Roy with 710 killed my custom design with my new logo. So I might be biased because I love throwing the design so much, but I really, really enjoyed this Enigma bag. Um, I think it's one of his best, if not his best bag. It's my personal favorite that I've thrown so far. Um, you know, again, it really, really hard to find right now, but a cheaper price point, not stamped, but it, it's going to be like 724, guys. This brand is just exploding. They feel great. Uh, I really, really like throwing the Enigmas. So, that's going to make it the top three on my list. That's how much I like those Enigmas. The last two bags, I bet you guys could have guessed what I'm going to put in here. Maybe you wouldn't have guessed the order, and I'll explain why the order is the way that it is. But number two on the list, Black Sheep Costellos, tried and true. Um, the reason I got these at number two on the list is just because lately in the last, you know, when I'm indoors, they're just too quick. I don't get to throw them as much. Um, and and I felt like the number one bag really needed to be the bag that I'm throwing more often than I'm throwing any other bag. But a little bit on the Costello, 6.8 speed, Pro Sniper slow side, Enigma slow side, Game Changer fast side, Surefire fast side, right? Disc fill, it's probably my most used bag of the year in slower conditions uh, of the if if you know surefire variants are too sticky i was throwing costellos all year especially my orange ones my orange ones are so ridiculously broken in that it's like they're unbelievably hole friendly and if i'm playing with a newer player that maybe doesn't have a flat bag they like faster bags we just throw costellos because they're forgiving they don't really kick too much you get them near the hole they go in uh almost everyone i i mean the amount of people that i've gotten to throw costellos around this area now um, just it, it, the bag is just blowing up for a really good reason. It's really easy to throw if you like faster bags. Doesn't require a lot out of you to shoot really well with it, and it's a good price point. You know, ninety bucks shipped off their website. I think a lot of people are selling them for between seventy and ninety bucks on the Facebook pages. Uh, it's a it's a well priced bag. ACL Pro stamped, really friendly, really beginner friendly. Uh, I just really overall like the feel of the bag. Not too fat, not too thin, not too floppy. Makes a good handhold. You guys know I love my Costellos. Costellos are going to come in at number two. And number one for the year, there's a lot of reasons why this is number one, but Lucky Bags, Surefire. Now, I know there's a, and caveat here, 2020, 2021 Surefires, not the new ones. And I'll get into that. So 5.8 speeds, same as Blackwater, same as all these other ones, disc fill. The reason I say the 2020, 2021 is I've bought a lot of the 2021 ones recently this year um, to try out because there's a lot of cool custom designs and some other ones. They just they just aren't the same. They don't feel the same. Um, the, I don't know if the template got wider, if the fill, I mean, I know they had that fill issue, but even their new fixed fill, I just find it, the bags break in a little bit thinner. The materials, I know you guys, I don't know if you know about materials, but the way that they source in materials, you know, they could be getting it from the same distributor that changes their distribution line and, and the fast side feels slightly different um, over the course of the year, whatever they're getting in, in. For whatever reason, all the 2020, 2020 Surefires that I felt feel very similar and there's a reason why I. it's probably the most used bag of the year 
overall in cornhole. It's my most used bag of the year just because it's the most common bag that's in this area. So if you play a blind draw, everybody knows how to throw surefires. Uh, if, if I go to a blind draw, I bet you over half the teams are throwing surefires. Um, if when I'm playing a tournament, my partner likes surefires. I like throwing surefires. I threw surefires all last night. I mean, it's just the bag for, for lack of, even though they've been having some issues lately, the old versions are just a really, really good bag. It just plays super well, super hole friendly. They are a little bit floppier. I like a little bit of a floppier bag. I can cut these things really well. I can push with these things really well. Super hole friendly. And I think honestly, this is probably the most popular bag in cornhole this year in terms of, you know, there was a time where you couldn't even get them. They were going for crazy prices. Now they're more readily available, but people still buy and trade them. And, and so many people throw this bag. I could throw great blockers with this bag. Push side is good. Um, it's just really, really hole friendly and, and everybody is really comfortable throwing them. And now they're in a really reasonable price point. You can find them for 70, 80 bucks to 120 bucks. I mean, very much down to, you know, what a lot of the other bags at, uh, you know, so even though, even though I, you know, talk crap about them and whatnot, it is by far, especially once we went inside now, uh, my most used bag of the year and my most used bag that I throw with a lot of people. So my number one bag of the year in my personal, what I've been throwing this so much is the Lucky Bags Surefire. So a lot of really great bags this year that didn't make my list. I've tried, you know, probably a hundred different bags, um, you know, and, and all of them are good. I really don't have bad things to say about almost any bag. I mean, everyone's making a really solid bag right now. Everyone's kind of using the same materials. So it's about finding the one that maybe I'm more comfortable with or that I've just spent more time throwing. You know, there's easily some interchanging I could be doing on this list with some other bags, but this is my personal list that haven't left my house. I have not sold, you know, because they they are sitting, especially these top, you know, five are just sitting in my in my competition bag at all times. So Appreciate if you guys like something like this, you know, I hope you guys had a wonderful 2021. I'm excited to see what 2022 brings. Uh, you know, they in February, I guess, mid, uh, mid season pro stamping is opening back up. So be on the lookout for a lot of companies coming out with new bags. So there's going to be a lot more for us to try. This game is growing rapidly and I don't think that new bags are going to be going anywhere. What I'm kind of looking for in 2022 is I really want to see a company, you know, come out with a new material, like something I haven't seen, you know, I, like, I kind of every bag that comes out right now, I, I probably know the material or I felt a bag with the material. And there's not a lot of people experimenting with new materials. I got to shout out, you know, dragon bags in here because the slow side they use on the RNA is the same slow, fast side they use on the double dragon. And there's no one else using that material. It's like a herringbone fast material. And I th and it works really, really nicely. And I have tons of respect for the fact that Maddie found a material that, um, Nobody else is using it. It plays really well and he sticks to it. And that's kind of what I'm looking for in 2022 is finding this, the new surefire material, you know, the one that everybody wants to copy because it just plays that good. So that's what I'm on the lookout for, but here's my top 10 for the year. I think it's a pretty solid top 10. There's some carpet in there, fast bags, slow bags. It really tries to comprehend all the different kinds of bags that I'm throwing this year and, and what I've kind of had the most success with personally, even if I don't throw them as much anymore, but this is a culmination of the last four or five months of me playing. So, you know, if you guys like this kind of stuff, uh, you know, let me know in the con comments below. I like doing some kind of recaps, but hope you guys have a wonderful new year. And uh, hopefully we got a lot more stuff coming in 2022. So appreciate you stopping by. Love you guys. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.